This is GUAIM Tech. Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you the Xeon control cable. At first, take the end with the printed gimbal on it. Attach this to your Xeon gimbal on the right side of your camera and then to your camera. Power on your gimbal, then power on your Sony camera. Moving this button up and down lets you zoom with your camera. Unfortunately, you cannot control the speed while you're zooming. I don't know if that's because of the uh, 16 to 50 lens uh, or if it's because of the gimbal. To take a photo, just press the power button. To start recording, press the power button twice. If you do that again, the camera will stop recording. So here you can see some sample footage I took uh, of my dog. As you can see, the speed of your zoom is not really controllable. So I don't know if that's because of the Sony 16 to 50. Maybe it, that's kind of different with the 18 to 105 millimeter or something like this. I don't really know. Maybe you guys can test that. But it's good if you just want to change your uh, focal distance, but you cannot really use this on your footage when you are zooming. Uh, I was hoping you can perform some dolly zoom shots with this, but unfortunately at least the 16 to 50 millimeter is really, really too fast for this. On Xeon's official Facebook page they offer it for 50 bucks, but uh, at least in Germany I could get it from an official Xeon store for just 25 bucks and I think that's a really fair price. Of course it's just a micro USB to micro USB cable but I really enjoyed that I don't have to touch my camera anymore uh, because that adds some shakiness and uh, I don't really like that. On the other hand, everybody who uh, owns a Sony camera knows that this movie button, damn, it's so tiny and so flat you cannot really reach it. So that's a really, really nice feature if you just push the power button twice that you can start recording. That makes filming so easy. You don't have to get your hands on your camera. What I also really like about this cable is that it supports Sony's clear image zoom. So if you're using prime lenses, you can use the clear image zoom to magnify by two times without so much loss of quality like with a digital zoom. And yeah, it turns your prime lens to a kind of small zoom lens. That's really cool. I have to admit, before I ordered the uh, original Xeon cable, I tried it with a conventional micro USB to micro USB cable. But as you can see, this really doesn't work. I don't know, there has to be some kind of control unit inside Xeon's cable. You need the original Xeon cable for that. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to me, and if you have questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Bye bye.